Guys, it's me. One last video for tonight. Um, worstest air disasters of the 1990s. The 90s were was not a very good year for air disasters. I can tell you, there <clears throat> there have been a number of air disasters since the year began in 1990. But by as the the 90s were getting close to the mid 1990s, and that was between 1995 and 96, you had at least about several disasters that happened one right after another. A national air Douglas DC-8 that took off from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, that was that was under. Nigerian Airways, and it was bringing pilgrims back from the Hajj in uh, Saudi Arabia. As they were taken off, the uh, the landing gear started to uh, heat up, and it caught fire. And the aircraft was on fire as it was in flight. And it wouldn't make its final destination. It made it back to Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, but crashed short of the runway. All on board was dead. All all passengers on board perished in in this tragedy. And um, the second disaster happened in Illinois to American Eagle ATR seventy two flight that har that had already departed from Chicago here, and it was on its way to Detroit. When it flew into freezing rain, and the ice on the lean edges of the wings made, made it so hard to control, the aircraft just fell out of the sky, Killed all 49 passengers on board. Um, in 1994, on September 8th, U.S. Airways Flight 427 from Chicago to Pittsburgh, uh, 737, was on final approach when suddenly and without warning, the uh, rudder veered to the left. And the 737 fell out of the sky and crashed into a field. No survivors in the accident. Um, just only a few a few years before that, U.S. Airways another 737 was involved in another crash. But at Los Angeles International Airport, as the flight was coming in from Charlotte Douglas International Airport, and the controller had allowed for that flight to land, and what the, the captain and the first officer did not see until it was too late was a, uh, a twin-engine commuter plane that was on the same runway. The 737 just plowed right into the commuter plane and it crashed into a hangar. Some of the passengers on the uh, US Airways 737 was killed and the passengers and crew on the commuter flight were also were killed. And it was human error in, in the cause of the accident. United Airlines had a similar tragedy like a U.S. Airways Flight 427. The 737 was about to land at Colorado Springs when the 737 had fell out of the sky and crashed into a field. No survivors in the accident. And um, 
The last few, I don't know if you want to dispute it with me. Uh, Trans World Airways Flight 800, July 17th, 1996. Uh, 747131 was on its way from New York John F. Kennedy to Paris Charles de Gaulle when there was an in-flight explosion all on board perished and the cause of the accident was a terrorism was a was a from friendly fire or was a mechanical failure I will have to say from my point of view it was mechanical failure well no question about it I mean, if you want to dispute this with me on YouTube, be my guest. And, um, the final piece is before the 1990s were out, here's some of the honorable mentions. Um, Value Jet Flight 427, Mother's Day, 1996. Um, Egyptian Air Flight 990 and Swiss Air Flight 111. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I would like to say thank you very much for watching this video. Please rate, share, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you around. But, at, well, for the meantime, have a nice evening.